All right, this video is for the gentleman from Finland with the 225B you can't get power out of. This cover right here has your rack setting controls under it. This little deal here, this is how you d determine whether or not the rack is going all the way open, open or if the f air fuel ratio is not adjusted correctly. You're going to put a test light on this and hook the other end to a power source and you're going to put it under full load and under full load that should make continuity with the rack and your test light should turn on. If it doesn't, take this cover, these bolts off and you should be able to turn this cover which is going to turn the adjusting screw for the air fuel ratio. Turn it down one turn, bolt this all back on so you have not losing boost and this operates and check it again if if that's not fixing your problem you need to put a boost gauge on it and see what the boost is and I'll show you what the boost setting is so there's two different type of rack settings and the sleeve metering system like you have so you take that cover off and this is going to be your rack stop, load stop adjustment. So by undoing the lock nut and screwing this screw out and increasing the distance the rack travels before it stops will give you more fuel. But some of them have this set up and the only way to adjust them is different shims in here. So let's look at the rack setting. All right, my rack book setting only has the 225 in it. It has a bunch of different serial numbers. Some of them are turbocharged, some of them aren't. So in case yours is turbocharged, let's look at this one. So we're going to go over here to the static fuel setting. Uh, if you don't have the tools to measure that, you're not going to be able to. Um, but let's go over to the boost and this one at 0 to 10,000 feet should pr be producing 22 inches of mercury. The rack book does not measure it in pounds per square inch. It's all in inches of mercury. So you need to find out whether you're getting this much. Some of them are down there. Uh, but that's at really high elevation. So basically with inches of mercury, you're going to divide that by two. So it's about 11 PSI of boost is all you're going to get. So a lot of those excavators in my rack setting book don't even show that there's an air fuel ratio control on those 3304s. Yours may not have one. But like I say, under this cover is where you're going to increase the rack setting for more power. My suggestion is to get a service manual, an original CAT service manual for this. It's going to help you incredibly to understand this system so you can work on it if you don't have anybody qualified to do that for you. So let's look at the low power troubleshooting. So there's many, many low power troubleshooting items in here. Uh, low fuel pressure, it tells you at low idle you need 18 PSI or 125 kPa. High idle you need 205 kPi. Um, that's why I suggest you get this book. Uh, that way you could check the timing and some other things. Hope this helps you out.